Hi there, Cosmic Family. My name is Hale in this incarnation. Today, I wanted to leave another reflection linked with the opposition between Sun in Virgo and Neptune in Pisces. Um, so, the Sun in Virgo is doing a trine with a Pluto in Capricorn too. So, we are experimenting this, like this transformation and at the same time, this surrender vibe. I'm going to explain this better. And I wanted you to remember that I'm going to leave a, um, a video in which... Um, I talked about Neptune, uh, aspects of tension with Neptune, and how that this could be traduced uh, as uh, deceptions and scams and that kind of things, you know, confusion. I'm not going to talk about that today, so I'm going to leave that video in the description if you want to see it. So uh, I think I expressed before that I don't think that the, the path of evolution um, is about uh, getting rid of uh, logic. And logic is very linked to the energy of Virgo. So I think this is about to feed logic in new and amplified perceptions. But many times this is something very um, uncomfortable because uh, to amplify our perception many times means uh, to, to modify our perception is uh, something that could break with um, layers of our ego. So... At the same time, I think there are moments that we cannot wait to find a logic at the present moment to move forward, because this could be a mask of the ego, you know, if I'm not finding a logic, I'm not understanding the purpose, then we can stay in like repeating the, this pattern of energy and this could produce um, a, an, an illusionary, uh, I don't know if that's a word, um, a state of uh, stagnancy. So... Many times uh, we we have to let go. We have to surrender, and that's what Neptune in Pisces is telling us. Um, this planet is asking for us this this surrender, and is inviting us to experiment unity, but not as a concept, as a as a real internal perception. And this is something that to apply in our daily life could be something uncomfortable too, because many times we are experimenting things that um, it's difficult for us to reflect ourselves in that in those situations, you know, or maybe we are experimenting things with people that could cause rejection in ourselves and ego it is not allowing ourselves to see what God or universe is telling us, what messages is delivering to us through those experiences. So I think that when we decide to surrender our ego, to let go and to hear the voice of our, of our intuition, which I explained many times that um, our own programming prevents us many times to hear that inner voice. And I think this is something that we develop, that we practice to do on the, on the process, in the process. Um, I think that when we can do that, then Neptune or universe or God that actually is an energy that is operating inside of us and outside um, opens a, a way of uh, great connection with ourselves and, the, and with the energetic world too. And an example of this could be, you know, Neptune is very linked with arts. So um, let's imagine that a, a pianist... Um, is contacting with emotions and, and sensations and experiences and, and uh, this person is, is putting all of this in a, um, capturing this in a melody. So when that person plays that melody, another person is hearing that. So uh, that person is uh, receiving the transmission of those experiences and sensations and emotions. So this is the kind of unity that Neptune is um, inviting us to experiment so uh, this is more than just saying, you know, from from this uh, from the concept of the mind that we are all one. Uh, and how I said before, this could be something very uncomfortable because uh, we have to surrender. We have to trust in this energy operating inside of us and outside. And um, I think that this energy is linked with, with the frequency of love and compassion that are things that we cannot pretend, you know, that we are feeling that or we are not. So um, in the end, I think that uh, every time that we are transiting experiences like this, we are becoming closer and closer 
uh, from uh, to the sorry uh, internal perception of unity, uh, you know the fount or or the energy of God or the light in the purest um, in the purest essence is total unity. There's no separation. There's no fragmentation there. So we are experimenting that here. That's why we have an ego, but. Uh, we are we are in this in this process of returning to home so well i just wanted to leave this reflection today thank you everyone and see you in the next video ciao ciao